My father pledged to every American in every city, state, and town that he was going to make America great again. And so began the great American comeback. Almost immediately, taxes were slashed, regulations were cut, and the economy soared to new heights, heights never seen before. Wages went through the roof. Unemployment reached the historic lows, especially for black Americans, Hispanic Americans, and women. Trade deals were ripped up and renegotiated. Lights were turned back on in abandoned factories across our country. Trillions of dollars were repatriated back to the United States, which had been sitting in foreign lands for far too long. Once again, America became the envy of the world. And with that renewed strength came leverage. The president demanded that our allies pay their fair share for the defense of the Western world. My father rebuilt the mighty American military, adding new jets, aircraft carriers. He increased wages for our incredible men and women in uniform. He expanded our military defense budget to $721 billion per year. America was no longer weak in the eye of the enemy. The moment President Trump ordered special forces to kill some of the deadliest terrorists on the planet, the day the mighty Moab was dropped on insurgent camps is the day America took a stance to never be defeated by the enemy. Al-Baghdadi, Soleimani, dead. Over and over, issue after issue, the economy, the wall, the military, trade deals, tax cuts, Supreme Court justices, VA hospitals, prescription drugs, school choice, right to try, moving the embassy to Jerusalem, peace in the Middle East. Never-ending wars were finally ended. Promises made and promises for the first time were kept. Most politicians spend their entire careers in Washington, D.C. and get absolutely nothing accomplished.